Hi everybody. In this part I would like to make a better cogwheel than in the previous part. So let's start with a circle. It has 60 edges and I make it, uh, doesn't matter, 222 by 222 and zero this out. Drop the tool. <coughs> Three to go to poly mode. Select this polygon B for bevel, bevel it in once, shift click to reactivate the tool, bevel it in a bit more, shift click, bevel it in again, shift click and bevel it in to about here, shift click and a last one, drop the tool, pardon me. Now I select nine segments in here two three four five six seven eight nine delete them then leave three alone delete these three alone delete these and thankful we are left with three again <clears throat> so go to edge mode with the tool key select all these edges alt c with a count of one and three and bring them up to about here drop the tool Action Center Local, R key for the Transform tool and bring these in about so. Drop the tool. Now select these again, Alt C, this time with a count of two and uniform. We will need this later. Okay, so far we are have the middle part Let's start with the teeth. So select two here, up arrow key, then hit the set key for edge extend, right click to activate it, then the R key, but with action center of automatic, green circle and bring the teeth out about so. Now action center back to local, hit the R key to scale them in, drop the tool, select these edges here, up arrow key, hit the R key again and move these in so it looks about right, like so. Drop the tool. Now. I select these edges, up arrow key, go to perspective mode quickly, W key, move these down, back to top view, A to center the view, and now I hit shift up arrow to expand the selection, then shift click two edges in here, up arrow again and we have now selected all the outer teeth. The reason is I want to use Pixar sub D mode to harden these teeth. So vertex map edge weight tool 20% weight click in the viewport drop the tool. Now go to perspective mode Select all the polygons, hit the X key for polygon, extrude and bring everything down to here. Now next step is to delete all the bottom polygons because we will mirror it later. So hit the delete key, hit the W key for the move tool, bring everything up above the center line.
go back to perspective and we don't need the grid right now so toggle the grid away drop the tool next I will select no, 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 better in top view I select these polygons here then hit the L key for loop perspective view to see if we have selected everything yes now the R key again and bring this together because we have deleted the bottom uh, I have to insert a couple of polygons now here so let me do this go to edge mode okay select these edges here and bridge drop the tool go to the next one select these edges bridge drop the tool select these edges bridge these together next one select these edges bridge drop the tool select these edges bridge I could have done this after we mirrored it but I think it's easier to do right now now select one edge let's go to the bottom view and drop the tool select one edge here each alt c with the count of two and symmetry click in the viewport bring it out okay so that looks good perspective mode let's see what we have so far I go to Pixar sub D mode by using the shift tab key uh, so there are several problems I need to also harden these edges out here so select to keep the up arrow key pressed go to vertex map edge way tool 20% click in the viewport and here we have it if you think it's too hard again go up with the subdivision level from 2 to 3 and then it looks quite nice I think I put in a single edge here to sh sharpen these a bit more drop the tool now shift tab out of it and I select edges here now and two here alt c with the count of one and three let's see if modo does what I would like to do so yeah that looks good sometimes this does not work properly so shift tab again that looks much better already so let's add a bit of detail so select two polys here hit the L key hit the B key for bevel blue handle bevel it up a bit shift click to reactivate bevel it up again and now use the red handle 
to bring it in like so. That looks about right. Drop the tool. We can now do the middle part. So here again, select the middle polygon, hit the B key, bevel it up a bit, Dr shift click, bevel it up again, a bit more, red handle now, and bevel it in, like so, shift click, bevel it in a bit more, shift click, blue handle, bring it down, delete that polygon. Okay. Now I harden some edges here in the traditional way. So select edges here, here, not that one, here, 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 here and here. Alt C with the count of two and symmetry. Let's check this on the top one and make it about this. Same here. Click this and this one. Alt-C, drop the tool, select this one, Alt-C, bring it out a bit more, drop the tool, select this one, Alt-C, drop the tool and put a single loop up here, drop the tool, deselect everything, go to right view, select all these, no, that's too much, that looks better, vertex, set position, zero on the Y, ok, drop the tool. Now go to Duplicate, Mirror, Mirror over the Y, Apply. And here is our better cogwheel. We can select this one and Backspace delete it. Go to Perspective again and we can select this one. Backspace deleted, <coughs> and now if I hit Shift Tab, here is our better cogwheel. So let me make a quick render with global illumination and the mate copper F. 9 to start. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. Bye bye. See you another time.